you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Thursday. So first of all, thank you for tuning in and taking a look at this and sharing this topic with me today because this one is one that came to me for my own benefit <laughs> as well as the situations that I was in as well. So I wanted to share it with you guys, okay? So as you can tell from the topic, it's basically um, on the outside looking in, right? Sometimes in our life, we need somebody to stand on the outside and look into our life, okay? To see what's going on or to see what's going on in a certain situation or a project that you're doing or 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 whatever, whatever it is that you're doing. That's why some people will say, you know, if you're working on something and you're working, working, working on it, it's a good idea to get up, step away for a moment um, and then come back to it because when you come back to it with refreshed eyes, you can look at it new. And you can see where, you know, you may need to edit or change or add something, take away. Well, the same thing applies in our life as well. That sometimes you need to step back away from it and then come back. But sometimes we're not able to do that because we're so attached to it. We're so caught up in that moment and caught up in what's going on that we can't detach ourselves to, to stand on the outside and look in. And so sometimes we need help with that. And that's when people end up going to like therapy, for example, because you have all these emotions that's going on through your body and in your mind and you can't shift through it. You can't work your way through it. And you're standing in what like the eye of the tornado of these emotions wrapping around you and you can't see where to organize them or where to put them or how to even attack them. You know, like how do I even go at this monstrosity of, <laughs> emotion okay and so that's when we usually end up in therapy because because you go to the therapist who can help you break down and then you start to see the words swirling in that tornado around you you start to see those events and how they all kind of come together and then you can compartmentalize and then deal with them in that sort of way so it's a way to emotionally basically organize your feelings so that you can figure out one what's going on and then sit down and and work on them and that's what therapy does so you have somebody who's outside of your life who doesn't know anything about your life. They only know what you're telling them. They only know what you share with them. And so they're able to look at it and really tell you, okay, this is what I see. Um, me, I like to go to my best friend. She knows me as a person. Okay, so she knows how I tend to look at things. So if I go to her and be like, listen, what do you think? Like, because this is how I'm seeing it. What What do you see in this situation? And she's honest. You know, we have that relationship where she's honest with me, okay? And like I am with her. And so she gives me the truth about what she sees. And then I'm like, okay, that makes sense. I guess I could, you know, if I looked at it that way, it does make a difference. Or if I look at it this way, it does make a difference. Kind of like if you're typing out a paper and somebody comes up behind you, you know, and they say, oh, you know, you left out, you know, your comment here, period theory, and you probably should mention something about this. And you're looking at it like, oh, I can't believe I didn't have that in there, you know, and you go back to put it in because you have somebody outside of the situation who's able to look at it and go over it with you and give you, you know, what you need to, to make sure you go forward. Well, I found lately that it seems to be a lot of less, lot less people who are willing to listen to that, that part of you being on the outside looking in. Um, cause I've had, I've come across a few incidents in the past couple of weeks, the past few weeks where, um, I noticed something and my ancestors push me and say, yes, go say that to them, go let them know. And I do. And I get that pushback from them, you know, like, ah, I know what I'm doing kind of thing. And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, you throw your hands up, you walk away. And part of that is, is that, you know, you, you get so emotionally tied to what's going on. And what you see that we sometimes forget to listen to, because sometimes, you know, you, whoever it is you believe in, source, spirit, God, Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah, whatever you call that creator spirit for yourself can see things and will send people to help you and give you those little plant them seeds or get you to look at something in a different manner. And if you shut it down and you close it off, then you're closing off your own progress and your own growth. Now, I'm not saying that everybody that comes to you is coming to you in that manner. But we know when they come to us with matters from the heart and really trying to help us and when they coming from some other place, you know, like they're trying to take over and do something for you. We know the difference between that. You can feel it. You can feel it and you're like, mm, yeah, okay. They just trying to tell me that because, you know, whatever. They want to make themselves feel better. No. 
when somebody is coming to you from the heart and really wants to see you succeed and you know that and they come to you and they give you those pieces of information that's when you really need to pause like you know even if it does hurt because the truth will hurt sometimes you know and nobody likes to be told that what you did wasn't right or it could be done better you know nobody likes i don't care how they say it or ulysses whatever you know method or whatever when they talk about some you know okay so this was really really good because i was in psychology too you did really wonderful with this and this now oh this over here though could use some room for improvement you know and it's like uh forget you you that's really what you want to say is that you didn't like what i did so instead of taking it in that press oh well you just didn't like what i did take it in the pipe okay well let me relook at it and let me see what this person was seeing let me look at it from their perspective and how they was looking at it and you might be surprised at what you find out and what you see and them little gems sometimes when like i said when somebody gets touched to go do something and they come to you it can also make your life a lot easier because you can look at it and be like oh well that does make sense you know, like going through the forest. All this time you've been going through the forest, you've been walking across this log that was this tree that fell over the river, and you've been walking across it trying not to stumble and fall, done trip times, done stubbed your toe and everything else. And somebody tells you, well, right over there is a bridge. Now, if I'm like, yeah, you just want me to go the wrong way, and then I'm never going to see that bridge. I'm going to be too in there. This is the way I've been doing it. This is how I'm going to do it. This is what I was told. Yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> go go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Slip and fall. Get, get stub your toe again. Get them cuts and scratches. You know, do what you need to do. <laughs> I'm gonna take the bridge over here. <laughs> you know, where all you had to do is say, "Oh, you would you want bridge?" And I say, "Oh, it is a bridge over there." Because you know, sometimes you're so caught up in what you're doing and trying to get to your destination, you don't see the other roads around you. <laughs> you only see. Where are you trying to go? Like them, those those blinders that they put on the horses. When they put the horses in the street, they have these blinders up there because otherwise the horse will be looking at everything else that's going on. So they put the blinders on them so that they can only see what's in front of them. Okay? They can't see what's going on on the side. They can only see what's in front. So that's what we do internally. We put these blinders on us and then we can't see because we're so focused on and determined to get where we're going to where if we didn't have the blinders, we could see there's some other paths to getting there. So sometimes when you get that tap on the shoulder, you know, somebody come up to you be like, hey, it's a road over here you could take. Instead of being like, hey, 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 just, just look at the road. Nobody says you have to take it, but just look at it. Maybe it's something spiritual, some spiritual divinity that's coming down to try to help guide you in a different direction that's going to be easier for you. You know, that's going to help you get to your de de your destination quicker or in a, in a more relaxed way. Or you might be coming across something that you missed, you know, the piece of the puzzle, something like that. So all I'm saying is, <laughs> you know, sometimes you need somebody on the outside to look in to help guide you in the right direction or push you down the right direction. I know I've needed it several times throughout my life and I've been grateful for it um, each and every time. There were times when I was younger where I was like everybody else, like what you telling me that for? I don't need to know. And turns out that that person was true. And so, you know, that happens to you enough times, you either gonna continue to have it happen to you or you're gonna learn from it. Me, I chose to learn from it and, and to give people the benefit of the doubt when they come to me to give me information. So that's my <laughs> spiel on everything. Um, I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Because if you got anything out of this content, chances are someone else did as well. I love you, and I will talk to you tomorrow.